Blender 4.2 is finally here, and it could be one of the best updates that we've seen yet. So today we're going to cover all the new features that you need to know about. EV 2.0, also known as EV Next, now offers ray trace lighting, and it's already brought the community a fair amount of excitement due to how close its render results match to Cycles. Now whilst it's not a replacement for Cycles, it's definitely a step in the right direction. It has an unlimited number of lights that you can now use, a completely rewritten global illumination system, and improved emissions handling. And depth of field has also got an overhaul as well. EV also supports displacement now, which is another impressive and exciting feature. It's the exact same process of setting up within your materials as if you were using cycles, but this now brings another level of realism to EV and still operates super fast. EV's new lighting system means that it can now extract the light data from a HDRI and use it to cast real lighting and shadows. And this is all just produced from the world environment, which is incredible. EV's volumetric system has had an update and is now more stable when you're navigating your scene, removing that strange buggy look that it had previously. Blender is now pushing to become an industry standard pipeline with a focus on adding more features to make their software more integratable into large studios. And just in case you don't believe it, this is the message that is coming from Blender themselves. And this new mindset starts with the ability to batch export your collections. This cool little feature under the collection properties lets you add this collection to export and gives you several different file types that you can export out to, which is also perfect for those who need to upload their models to something like Sketchfab. You can export out as many different file types as you need, and you can do it all in one click. What was once known as Blender add-ons is now being referred to as Blender extensions, with their new and improved interface, which is connected to the official Blender extensions website. This is where you can download and install official add-ons and themes uploaded by the community, all while still remaining completely free. And now that extensions is an internet connected feature, you don't have to worry about needing to go somewhere else to find the latest update for a Blender add-on. The entire process can now be done through this internal plugin. It's pretty cool. You can also still install add-ons from a zip file the same way that you did before, but it's just under a different menu option now. And you can directly drag and drop extensions into Blender. And now the Ray Portal BSDF node is here. And it brings with it the ability to create this really cool portal effect, which essentially transfers the view from somewhere in your scene onto a material. And this can then be placed onto something like a TV where you can simulate a camera feed or just be used to create some illusions. Now, unfortunately, this is currently only a Cycles feature. EV does not come with this, and if you try to search a node up, it's not going to appear. But with this super easy material setup, you'll see that the effect is really simple to set up and can save a lot of computing power as well. Another great one is that motion blur is now visible within your 3D viewport, which will help you better art direct your scenes without the need to render out just to see the final result. So Blender 4.2, is absolutely jam-packed with new features. And you can find out more about this release on their official website. This covers a whole range of new features like the Kronos Tone Mapper, new sculpting tools, geometry nodes features, and more. I would highly recommend that you read through it and learn more by downloading Blender 4.2 today and testing it out for yourself. And let me know which feature you're most excited for down in the comments.